All right, guys, Brett here with NSK Customs, owner of the shop. What's up, players? I'm Frank with NSK. You know the deal. What's up, guys? My name is uh, Pedro Ibarra. Um, I'm a sales guy here at NSK Customs. Today, we're going to do a little uh, documentary on where we started, where we came from, and how we've grown as a shop. We started NSK Customs in 2019. Uh, I started it at NSK back around December, full time. Started at NSK uh, October 14 of 2020. It's a custom shop. We do bolt-ons, wheels, tire suspension. We do full fab work, full air ride, family owned shop. Um, I've always been kind of coming up here on my days off, helping Brett out when I can, even though I hate him. Uh, I'm one of the sales guys, top sales guy, because f Brett, he doesn't sell nothing. Uh, if you need some wheels, anything you need, come hit me up. I kind of hired myself. I just uh, came in, left my other job, came help Brett. I just kind of got behind the counter and started selling. Uh, we did so good that we had to, you know, buy another shop. Was, uh, he couldn't sell nothing, so then we went from a two-bay shop to a 12-bay shop. So. <laughs> What my vision was of NSK Customs, to be honest with you guys, I really didn't have a very big image. It was just something that I wanted to do. I love working on cars. I love the feeling of customers coming in and seeing the smile on their face when their truck is built. The thing I love about being at NSK is uh, I'm a car guy. Um, I love being around wheels. I have a thing about wheels. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's passion. You're not really coming to work. You're coming up here, kick it with your homies, you know, after work, have a few beers. It's more like a paradise up here besides, I mean, working. What's fueled our growth so much is the quality of work we do. We're not the people that are gonna throw your truck together and say, hey, you owe me this, see you later. We work through everything with the customer as in, hey buddy, you need some ball joints or you need a tie rod. Yeah, we can just throw it on your truck. Yes, you can make extra money off of it. You could nickel and dime everybody that you want, but I'm already in your truck tearing it apart and I'd rather you be safe on the road. So I don't even charge you the labor like most shops do. I'd rather the customer be happy and say, man, they, they didn't even charge me an extra 500 bucks. They only charged me for the part where I can buy it from O'Reilly's for. I think that's what separates us from most of the shops because that's what they want. They just want the money. No, we want we want you guys to come here every day. Anytime you need something, you always have a shop to go to. Uh, the best part about it is you call the customer and you tell them it's done and you suppose to have it done in a day and a half and you have it done in one day and they come in and when they see their truck, man, that is priceless. That is like, that's what it's all about. We treat everybody like family. They message us on our phone. They have our personal phone numbers. They have us on Facebook. I mean, that way they always have somewhere to go. They don't have to worry about calling us if there's an issue with their truck. Our next chapter we want to talk about with NSK Customs is we feel like it's time to go ahead and grow a little more. And I went ahead and pulled the trigger and we're going huge. We're going to Florida and um, that's gonna be the biggest chapter I think I've ever had is to make sure that my baby stays running because I'll never leave this place and keep Florida going. And uh, once Florida is up and running full speed and good to go, then I'll walk back from that and I will come here and I'm just gonna rotate my guys and I'm gonna give them a little of the experience of pretty much kind of being an owner of a shop. Well, I wanna give you guys a close out on this video and I wanna thank a lot of people. Um, one, uh, my wife for pushing me Scott Cohn, Jake, my little sister, Austin Hyman, those guys were the ones that, we got your back, Brett. Like, um, I would thank my sales guys, but I don't like them anymore. They know I'm number one. And then the biggest thing is the customers. We can't thank you guys enough for coming back and always supporting us and showing us love and uh, keep letting us do what we do and always take care of you. And so we're gonna take that to Florida and uh, we're gonna grow even bigger. So that's all I got. All right, well, I just want to add one more thing. Fuck Brit. <laughs>